I'm trying solution to spray in a long pipe. This is mist of glycerol, 10% and 98% water. Droplets slowly falling down. Droplets falling 30 centimeters. From this can calculate droplet size by viscosity. There is so-called particle size analyzer which uses light scattering and uh, one can size droplets how much they scatter laser light. Bigger ones scatter more. Eureka need to find the region where particles move upwards uh, by convection and there should be focus and then it's helping to push particles to the left. Mist gets pushed towards focus which is to the left side but nothing gets trapped finally. This allows us to determine particle sizes by we see a lot of small particles falling slower. Now we see chimney effect. Some particles go down and some go up. Trying more narrow tube, 15 millimeters in diameter that air currents don't go around. Blinking and diffraction rings. From diffraction rings can actually determine the size of the oil droplet. First trapped droplet, two centimeters focal distance and uh, laser power 170 milliwatts. Wow, looks like the trap started to work. So they learned to trap glycerol droplet with DVD laser diode, 170 milliwatts. In the beginning, droplets fall down. After some time, air from bottom heats up, and then we had steady state uh, where droplets move very slow and can be trapped. We see diffraction stripes on the surface of the vial when there is trapping a large particle in the middle of focus. Got um, glycerol droplet trapped in a wide tube. A more narrow tube, inner diameter 10 millimeters only. Air currents are more slow and trapping became more easy. And finally, could trap oil droplet. <clears throat> distance from laser is about two centimeters. Shorter distance of one centimeter did not work because of uh, convection. It is too strong. Uh, hot air rises quite a lot. And uh, uh, during trapping, there is interplay of uh, gravity and upwards convection force and the uh, light uh, pressure scatter force in vertical direction and in horizontal direction it is uh, confinement by uh, scattering force and uh, drops are 10% uh, glycerol which does not evaporate and 90% water which evaporates uh, so historically uh, first was Lebedev who saw and measured the pressure of light. And conclusion, uh, this is a single laser focus trap. Uh, convection upwards helps to balance uh, droplet. <coughs> and the um, trap is good for large drops, 20 to 60 micrometers diameter. 
small drop pass through the laser beam which is too broad for them and they just see a plain wave. There are diffraction stripes visible, diffraction rings from the particle which can be used to estimate particle size. Larger distance stripes move more apart. A bottle with uh, literal water droplets. And we got a trap. You see, immediately. And then it's lost. 5mm diameter tube. And um, trap height 3 centimeters. Even smaller pipe, 6 millimeters inner diameter. Shorter length, 1.5 centimeters from lens. Experimenting with a smaller cell made from plexiglass and two glass covers. 3D printed the drop chamber. It was made printed with two parts and here are microscope slides on the sides. Bring some particles into a trap. And we got trapping quite immediately. And they get wrapping quite easily. 190 milliwatts laser power and focal distance about one and a half centimeters. Glycerol with water. Trapping with blue laser works 450 nanometers half watt. Trap is very stable and if I add more droplets, the big droplet uh, sinks a little bit down. The uh, rhodamine into glycerol. Rhodamine luminescence is not very strong with 455 nanometers. This is luminescence with green laser. It's stronger. 50 millivolt laser, green, 1.5 centimeter focal length, very weak trapping. This is the total signal. Here is laser at 450, oversaturated. These fringes come from the laser, but this should be from the spring gallery. Hopefully, luminescence of rhodamine. There is a problem that uh, drops uh, which are trapped, they do not shine red. They lose luminescence.